Changing colors of most elements on Squarespace websites is pretty straightforward and simple. You just use the site styles. But for some things, it's not that easy. Maybe they are just set to a default and don't even have the option to change. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. I got an email from a subscriber asking, do you have a video showing how to change the cart and checkout buttons so they're not default black? I've changed my colors immediately and have gone through every single color palette deleting black and they don't change. Okay, so I'm going to, in this video, show you how to change the cart color up here in the top right. And then we'll look at this purchase button down here and show you how to change that color. We're actually gonna start with the button because that is the easier one to change. So if I come into edit and then edit design, this is just a test product I have to show you how to do this. Um, if I come into edit mode of the actual product itself, and then if I hover over it a little bit, it gives me the edit product and edit section. We're gonna go into edit section and then come into colors. So what we wanna do here is change between our themes and this will change the button color with it for us. So if I go to light one, you can see it changes the background color and the add to cart button. And if I click through these, you can see it's just gonna use these color themes to adjust the colors as I go. Um, so if you don't want black, you might have to change the background color. And just keep in mind that changing the background color on one of your products will change the background color for all of the products in your store. So this is not a individual product setting, this is a store-wide setting. Okay, so let's leave it like this. I like these colors. And let's save and exit. Now the trickier part is the shopping cart. Whatever you set the color of your menu navigation to be is what the default for your sh like your little shopping cart or bag is going to be. So you can't change one without changing the other. So for example, I for sure want to keep my main menu the black color, but maybe I want my bag to be my, my teal blue color. So to do this, we do have to use code, and I will show you exactly how to do that. Under website in your left sidebar navigation, go into pages. You're gonna scroll all the way down. You probably don't have as many pages as I do. Click into website tools, and we're gonna go into custom CSS, and we're gonna add some code in here that will tell the cart to change color even though it's being forced to be black like the main menu. So I, let's just drop it in right here. I've already got, I've got the code ready, copy and paste it here. So here is the code. I will put it in the description for you to also copy and paste. What you're gonna wanna change is this hex code right here. This is the color code. So if I change it to pink, you can see it reflect immediately over here on the little shopping bag. So this is what you want to change. This is actually like live on my site right now. So let's change it to actually a brand color. And I'm gonna show you one more thing. There are lots of little site icons that are available. Let me get into the right edit mode here. If I go to edit site header, I'm gonna click on the cart, click on the pencil and go to style icon. The color adjustment will work for whichever one of these little icons that you want to use. So it's not dependent on which of these icons you make uh, your selection to be. So that is how you change the cart color with code and then the button color. I'm going to turn off the cart because I don't need it on my site. Um, the button color for your products is determined by the background and the color theme that you pick for your product pages. Thank you, Amanda, so much for today's question and inspiration for this video tutorial. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I love helping you make prettier Squarespace websites. That's what I'm here for. If you have questions for me, drop them in the comments and you never know, maybe I will answer your question in a video too.